Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a wrist corsage. This one I made with some white um, spray roses. And the supplies that you're going to need are some ribbon for the bow, some floral uh, adhesive tape. I like the light green. And a floral adhesive, which is a glue that comes in a tube. You can buy it on Amazon or a local craft store. I'll open it up so you can see what it looks like. It's super sticky, kind of like a super glue, but it doesn't dry as quickly as super glue. You're gonna need wire cutters and wire if you're gonna be making a matching boutonniere. Your spray roses, choose whatever color you like. And then grab some filler flower, whether it's wax flower or a greenery from your garden or filler that you find at the store. So first we're going to make a bow. This is um, a, a double face satin ribbon. I chose white, but you can choose whatever color you like. It's shiny on both sides. So I unwind as much as I can to just get started. Go back to the beginning. I like to have a loop in the center, so I loop it around my thumb in the center, and that will be the center of the bow. You twist from behind, and then you just pull up and make loops. Once you get it, you twist it, hold it with your other finger, and bring it back down. Then you just continue the same size loop on the other side, twist, grab it, Pull it back up and make another loop. Twist, bring it around. Keep doing both sides until you have um, about three to five loops on a side, depending on how big you want your bow. You might feel like all fingers at first, but just take your time with it. I like to do five loops on a side. It just looks more like a bow. Then you just twist it at the end, pull it down, and then you'll be cutting the streamers off keeping a little bit of a tail on each of them. Cut it on a slant and make them the same size. Now you gotta secure it with a wire. So put the wire right where your thumb is in the center loop, insert it and bring it back the other side. Bring the two together, pull it tight and then twist it. Hold with one hand and twist with the other. And now your hand is free to let go of the bow. Then you can fluff out the uh, the loops to the desired shape that you like. So now we can get our wire cutters and get our spray roses and then just cut off different sizes. Some are going to be a little more open than others. You want to have some buds but you don't really need to keep much of a stem. You may be cutting more of it off, but have a little bit of a stem when you cut it. Usually five is enough. And then if the greenery looks any good, save some of that too, because we can glue that in as well. Once you have them cut off, look at your roses and make sure there's no damaged petals. 
You don't want any petals that have splits or brown edges to them. And then put your finger in and just pull it off gently by pulling down. First you pull out and then you pull down. So I clean up each of my roses if they need it. So this is what a traditional wristlet looks like. You just slide it on and it has, uh, you know, the two spokes at each end to clip it on if you were going to wire your corsage first. That, that would hold it in place by build, bending them back. But since I'm going to glue them on directly, I fold those pieces back. So now I just lay out a paper towel for the wristlet to go on because uh, we're going to glue. And this is kind of, this is a floral adhesive glue, super sticky. Um, so you want to protect your counters. And this, I just take the, the pin box and put the wristlet around it. Or you can take like a toilet paper roll or whatever just to hold it stable as you glue. So let's grab your leaves that you chose. and we'll glue them on one by one. It doesn't take a lot of glue, but it doesn't dry instantly. It takes, you know, about a minute to, to dry, so you might want to hold it in place. But just cover the top of your wristlet with some glue so that the leaves can stick to it. So now just grab your leaves and I put them down one at a time. And have the, uh, the points going out. And basically you'll do like four points just to cover the base. And then hold it there for a little bit so it stays in place. So now that it's dry, I'll show you what it looks like on the back side. Just slide it off. They're all dry on there. And it just creates a nice backing so your mechanics look good. And it rests nicely on your arm. Now I take a pipe cleaner, you know, one of the chenille stems. And I like to roll it up to give it a, um, the wrist corsage, a little base for the flowers and the bow to stick to. It actually holds better than doing it directly on the leaves. But if you don't have one, you can do it, you know, you can just do it directly on the leaves as well. There, that's all it is. Pretty much the same on both sides, but uh, yeah, so we'll just grab the glue and we'll glue it on. For some reason, the pipe cleaner um, makes everything stick better, especially the bow. So now that you know how to make a bow, you just take it and clip off the wire. If you haven't seen my video on how to make a corsage bow, it's, it's also on YouTube if you'd like to take a look. Okay, so now we're just going to add some glue to the top of the pipe cleaner and a little bit to the bow. I might have added more than you actually need, but you just want enough to stick it down. And as you're holding it in place, I kind of fluff out the loops a little bit. So grab your roses that you had cut off. You may want to trim them a little shorter. Pull back the greenery from the rose and then just add some glue to the bottom of each rose. And then when you go to put it on, you just kind of spread your, um, your loops apart because you don't want glue all over the bow. You want to get as close to the pipe cleaner as you can. And this takes a little while because you got to do each rose at a time. Again, just repeat the process, pull back the greenery cut the stem. Really doesn't need any stem, but 
you can have a little bit. And if you want to put some glue on a, on a baggie or a plastic of some sort, you can just, instead of squeezing it out each time, you can just wipe it up like I just did. So we're going to be gluing probably about five roses on here, maybe a bud. You can decide on how big you want it. I mean, you could even do it with just three roses if you wanted to. Or mix up your colors and flowers. I mean, it doesn't have to be all roses. It could be daisies and roses or another type of flower that you like. And sometimes I just play with like where I should put another flower before I put the glue. And because this is a bud, I did leave some of the stem on so that it can, you know, come out a little farther than the other ones. And it just looks nice. So you just keep popping them in. That's pretty much it. Add a little accent greenery the same way. Or baby's breath, whatever you like. Or a little bit of both. This is wax flower that I kind of like better than baby's breath. It's a little stiffer and the, the blossom's a little larger. And as you can see, I ended up just grabbing glue from the plastic. It, it goes a little faster than squeezing it out each time. And let that dry for about 15 minutes, just to make sure everything's dry. And then you can take it off your base. And there you go. You can try it on to see how it looks. And there you go. Hope you have fun creating and uh, keep in tune for more videos. Thanks so much.